Snapchat, the app that has from time to time had many of us parents a little worried. Its developer, Snap Inc., is listed in the US and we shorted it late last year. Can you take us through the short case? Sure. As most would know, Snapchat is that messaging app, as you mentioned, where you can send pictures and videos that disappear after 24 hours, apparently. And it's... (laughs) It's overlaid with ads and it's an incredibly popular messaging app, especially in the US. And uh, early last year, it had around 290 million daily active users, which has since grown to around 350 million. Um, In early 2021, the company was growing at a really high clip. At its peak revenue growth was more than 100% year on year and management were guiding you know, for 50% top line growth per annum for the next two to three years and the stock was a consensus buy. But look, we thought the competitive landscape was shifting. You know, TikTok was growing very rapidly in the US and while it's not an identical business to Snap, we could see the com- competition for eyeballs and time spent was increasing. And ad spending on TikTok was starting to accelerate. Look, at the same time, Apple had also already removed the IDFA towards the end of 2020, and the impact was becoming noticeable. Now, look, the the IDFA, just to clarify, is the handset's unique identifier, which enabled advertisers to track our internet usage. Removing the identifier made, made it harder for internet platforms to measure and target advertising. In simple terms, this change made it harder for Snap to know which ads to serve up to their users. And we concluded it would you know, affect Snap's ability to monetize the messaging app. But the company and the market were looking through this. The company claimed user growth and product innovation would plug the gap. For example, it had developed Spotlight, their own version of short form videos to compete with TikTok and were developing Snap Games and Snap Maps with a plan to run ads on all these new products. Our, look, our view was that commercially these, these innovations would be immaterial relative to the core messaging function. And finally, it was, you know, the stock was priced at 25 times revenue, you know, a hefty multiple when you consider the risks to the business. Inflation had started creeping up and there were growing risks around, you know, rising discount rates. So in short, you know, the company was facing the near perfect storm of rising competition, product challenges, very high investor expectations, i.e. it was a consensus buy and and timing wise, we expected the stock to miss forecasts in the next one to two quarters. 